An upscale New York City art gallery, a $6 million Trump Tower apartment, the Russian mob, and illegal high-stakes poker games that allegedly dealt in Hollywood stars like Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire, as well as Wall Street titans and pro athletes. What do they all have in common? A $100 million money laundering scheme and 30 arrests. Bertha Coombs ties it all together for us. Helena Maud has been making a name for itself in post-war contemporary art, but as FBI agents raided the gallery's Madison Avenue offices, federal prosecutors painted a very different picture of the high-end art dealership. Federal authorities charged the 34-year-old owner, Hillel Namad, with playing a leading role in a massive international gambling ring catering to celebrities and Wall Street professionals, and a money laundering conspiracy that stretched from New York to Kiev. Prosecutors say Namad laundered millions in illicit profits through real estate, including a 63rd floor apartment at Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue, which he could have to forfeit if convicted. Dealers who spoke only on condition of anonymity say they were saddened to see the gallery implicated in criminal activity. But they note that Heli Namad is not a member of the Art Dealers Association of America. One dealer saying the Namads are not known for fostering and nurturing artists as many other dealers do. But rather for building a collection valued at more than a billion dollars through active buying and selling at major auctions in London and New York, where last fall, patriarch David Namad bought a Warhol portrait of Marlon Brando for more than $23 million. The gallery was closed today, but with the big money spring auction season set to begin in May, staffers put a sign in the window saying Heli Namad will reopen with an exhibition during the auctions. But before then, its owner will have to go before a judge for arraignment. In New York, Bertha Coombs for Nightly Business Report.